speak to you for a few moments today on the subject of dove's feet. Dove's feet. For 40 days and 40 nights, imagine with me for just a moment, Noah and his entire family and all of the animals, two of each of the animals, God had drawn them supernaturally into the ark, the ark of safety. Judgment had been prophesied. It was coming on the earth. And the Bible said that the earth began to break up and water began to gush out of the earth. And then the heavens ruptured and water began to fall in rain like the world had never seen before. And for 40 days and 40 nights, that ark that Noah had was the only thing that kept him and his family and the animals alive. They could hear the screams of perishing, dying people outside the ark. They could hear the the fist pounds on the ark as people were perishing, saying, let me in, please open the door. But it was too late. And as that ark bounced back and forth on the white tops of the storm and the ocean, I could imagine it. The Bible said that they stayed after the 40 days of rain, a total of 150 days on that ark. The ark had three stories. It was three levels. And there was only one window in that whole ark. How many of you know you would appreciate that one window if you were inside with all those animals? <laughs> Thank God for that one window. And the Bible said that it was at that moment Finally, Noah waiting and waiting and waiting 10 days and 60 days and months now. He's been on that ark and the, 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 the terrible uh, smells, the animals, the, the, the family. It looked like everybody was dead except them. You can imagine what they were going through. And then suddenly God said to Noah, on the 150th day, he said, Noah, I want you to go open up the window. And I want you to look out and I want you to behold the splendor of a world that has been washed clean. Noah, I want you to look out and notice that the sun is shining again. Notice the rainbow. It's glistening. Notice the clouds are gone. It's a new day. It's the dawning of a new day, Noah. And it's at that moment that Noah did something very, very strange. It's at that moment that Noah took two birds, two birds that were totally opposite in nature, two birds that couldn't be any more unlike. He took first the raven. Now I need to explain to you something about the raven. The raven is a flesh eater. The raven is a carnivorous bird. The raven does not eat seeds and plants. The raven loves flesh. Specifically, he likes dead flesh. The raven is more akin to a vulture or a buzzard than anything, you know, in, in our time that we could relate the raven to because he feeds on dead things. He loves road kills. He loves any kind of flesh that he can take his beak and pluck that flesh and rip it to pieces. And can you imagine after being cooped up on an ark, after being caged in a cage, being fed bird seed day after day after day, this flesh-eating bird, the Bible said, was the first bird that Noah took. When he opened the window, he took that flesh-eating bird, and you got to remember what was outside the ark. There was nothing but bloated, putrefied, rotting, decaying flesh. There were the putrefied, bloated bodies of hippos and horses and humans. You remember the tsunami that took place uh, about a year ago, and you can remember some of those graphic sights of human bodies floating and animals floating. Imagine what it must have been like when Noah opened the window. The only thing outside the ark was death. There was no life outside the ark, but that bird couldn't wait. I could see him in my mind, that raven, that flesh eater, that bird that loved, that, that, that had an appetite for dead things. I could see him as he took one whiff and smelled all that death outside the ark. 
And in my mind, I could see him almost say, ooh, this is like heaven to me. I can't wait to get out of this ark. I can't wait to get away from that old preacher. I'm so tired of those old bird seeds he's been throwing at me. That old word of God says, word of God says, I'm so tired of that ark. I hate that ark. I hate the church. I hate all that stuff. I'm ready to get out of here. I know there's more out there than there is in here. I know there's life out there. That's where the party is. That's where the fun is. That's where the excitement is, and I'm so bored in this ark. I'm so tired of this ark. Let me go, Noah. Let me go. And suddenly, that raven flew out of the hands, the good hands of Noah, the hands that had fed him, the hands that had preserved him, the hands that had protected him, the hands that had kept him through the storms. And he flew out. And I could almost see him flapping those wings, feeling his newfound liberty uh, vibrating beneath those wings, saying, I'm free, I'm free. I don't have to stay there anymore around those same old people and all those confines that were in that ark couldn't go to certain places, couldn't do certain things. That ark just bound me up. I don't like all that. Now I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. And the Bible said the raven flew out never to return to the hands of Noah again. Never to enter into the ark of safety and life again. But then the Bible said Noah did something strange. He took a dove. And the dove had the same wings that the raven had. He could have flown anywhere he wanted to. He could have flown anywhere the raven flew. He had a beak just like the raven had a beak. He could have consumed and ate flesh just like the raven. He had feet just like the raven had feet. He could have landed and went to any place that he wanted to go and live his life. But it's amazing. The Bible said when he took the dove and he released the dove, the Scripture said that the dove, in my mind, I could see it as it flew large circles looking, looking down. And all it saw was flesh. And all it saw was, 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 was death. And all it saw was, was judgment. It just didn't feel at home in a world that was being judged. Something about that dove's nature said, and I, I could almost see him hovering over one of those bloated bodies. I could see, I'm, I'm going to call this raven old Charlie Raven, but that, I'm going to give him that name, old Charlie. But, but because old Charlie Raven, I could see him when he flew out. Boy, when he saw one of those old bloated cows, he got down knee deep. If ravens have knees, I could see him sink down knee deep into that flesh and just start ripping into it. Man, this is really living. I've been wanting this. I've been wanting wanting to get into this flesh. I've been wanting to do this. They told me in the ark that there was nothing out here that was, that was alive, that only life was in the ark, and I didn't believe them. I didn't believe them when they told me that death was out there. I knew that there was more outside this ark than what they were telling me, all the rules and all that bird seed and that old man Noah. I could see him ripping into that flesh. And I could see old Betsy Dove, because the Bible calls